Hey everybody, welcome to this video. Today I'm in Carrick Woods, which is a woods in Port Arlington in Republic of Ireland. And for today's adventure, we will be going from Port Arlington or Carrick Woods to Emo, which is a town next door, to see this beautiful house there called the Emo House, which was built by one of the famous architects of Ireland called James Gandon. Now, James Gandon has built the four courts in Dublin, so right now we're gonna walk towards this place called or monument called the spire which is here in Carrick Woods. So what is this spire you might say? This spire was a project given to the people of Port Arlington to employ them in the tough months of winter. The ground is pretty hard and rightly so because this woods is called the Carrick Woods. Carrick in Irish means the rock. Okay, so this looks like the highest point in the woods. The spire must be, there it is. Ta-da! Wow, it does look something you would expect from the 17th century. Amazing, the work of people from Port Arlington. It's got a bit of bump there, if you notice. That adds to the beauty of it, doesn't it? This is the local rock, granite, and I think this is some sort of a mortar made of lime. Some wood here. I guess people come here in the night and just chill out. Nice. I wonder what this is. Now let's head towards Emo House. It's a seven kilometer walk and uh, I'm excited about this walk because we might get to see more old monuments like this on the way. We are on the country roads now, so that was Carrick Wood behind us. Bye bye Carrick Wood, it was fun. So country roads are narrow typically with the two-way lanes and with bridges like this built typically over a train track. If this bridge is struck by a vehicle, please go on Iren Oderen. Uh, Iren Oderen is the Irish uh, railway. That's the intercity commuter train. That's going from Port Arlington to Port Leash. Yeah, we gotta watch out for the cars. And they are aware that there are people here. So, there you go black currants you can just eat them because it's raining here all the time so they're clean but of course you got to check if there are any insects on it oh that's a juicy one there mm. oh look a spider you gotta be careful okay I'm not gonna eat that one. Oh, look at these ah, yum yum every autumn these briars give, give these black uh, berries actually workers who used to work on the emo house used to live along this road so this could be one of the houses from back in the day it looks like we are not allowed but ah they're still there or what do you call them locks these are the hinges aren't they okay the hinges are still there so the guy must be coming back from work that must be the front door and he'll be like honey i'm home and his wife must be there going Hi, I've made some beef stew for you. <laughs> and then he'll be like, okay. Maybe he's going in through this door. That's the front door. And maybe there's like a coat hanger inside. It's all uh, boarded up. Uh, and rightly so, look, all the cracks on the top. That's why maybe they don't want us to go inside. It looks like the kitchen at the back. That must be the chimney. So he must be coming in there. That must be the living room. Must be the kitchen. Though Ireland is an island, it's famous for its dairy products and beef. It's because it's got so much grass, because it's raining all the time, then the grass is like green and really fresh. And we've got all these meat uh, cows on the either side. So 
So guys, I think we are in luck. I found a worker's home which is still intact. It's got the chimney going so they must be cooking something. Hope they don't mind me taking a video of their place. So that is how a 200 year old building in Ireland looks like. Look at the arch, beautiful. Old windows. We must be very close to the Emo house because all the rich people who build these massive houses typically have a folly. A folly is like uh, something to show that you know we are really rich and you come in, you're invited to my place. So this is my folly on your way to my place. So this is a folly, guys. I don't think I can break in here like I broke into the worker's house. But let's check it out a bit closer. All right, it's been a mixed bag of a walk with sunshine and rain at the same time, but uh, it was pretty enjoyable. We are nearly here at the Emo house. Emo house is that way, that's the parking lot. On the other side of those beautiful trees, we have Emo house. All right, all right, after checking out all the workers' houses and walking for at least an hour and a half to the country roads, we have finally made it to the Emo house. from the house it feels like you're walking downhill um, I believe it is to make sure that no water is lurking around in the main garden but another thing I noticed at the end of the slope is very interesting and uh, uh, also shows that back in those days how how classy or how luxurious they used to live their life so you see this uh, fence over here with that gate at the end. I want to show you something at the end of, on the other side of this fence. There is actually a ditch. You might think that this ditch might be for the water which is coming down the hill. But actually this, the purpose of this ditch is to keep the animals from getting into the main garden. So funnily, this ditch is called Haha or uh, a sunken ditch. So basically it keeps the animals on the other side uh, from the main garden. But the main purpose is that if you're standing on top of the balcony, which is on the top of the house and you're looking down this way, you see all the deers, etc. just collecting over here and they cannot get on this side so you get the best of both the worlds like you get to see wildlife and also make sure that they don't come and damage your garden okay i see that there's a walled garden here i'm excited to see what's behind this wall wow very well kept isn't it ah these are apple trees it's been very windy, so there's quite a lot of apples on the ground. Look. Wow. This looks perfect. Let's wash it and try it. That looks like the storage place for these apples. Oh, there's a crate there. Ah. They might be collecting them and uh, I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe they use in the restaurant, which is over here. Make, maybe making apple pies or something. So that's what apple trees looks like guys that reminds me of the time i was at the bulmers factory and 
you know there were apple trees everywhere and there were sheep under the apple trees just eating all the apples that have fallen down look at the number of apples which are on the ground my god i think there are different varieties of apple here so we've got the pink ones here wow that looks nice ah oh. Too nice to be left behind on the ground. <laughs> so that one's pink, and these one are pink are a bit, little bit small. Lady Sudley. Okay. And uh, what are you? Lady Sudley, and this one is Bramley Seedling. Yeah, as suspected, they all are different varieties over here. This one looks nice to be left behind. Can't wait to wash it and have a bite. Very nice actually. It's sweet but it's a bit tangy as well. Definitely not something you would get in the market. All right guys, I made it to the lake and I'm really enjoying this pink apple. It was the best. It's at the end of the walled garden, okay? Look for the pink apple at the end of the walled garden. So, I was just gonna say the Port of Arlington must have had a really good time throwing parties over here because it's such a beautiful place and uh, must have shown off so much to his friends. He's got a lake and a walled garden, oh my God. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, um, I have uh, shown you everything I know and when emo court opens up you can come and enjoy the interior like I'm gonna do. So until then, uh, take care of yourself and uh, see you in the next video, okay? Take care, bye.